the mine that we're heading to today should be just right up here on the left. So we'll get in there and see how things look. We just came out of that section where that large stope chamber is. Left a glow stick there to find our way back. The chamber extends over to my left. And actually all through here. Back over there. Pretty big drop. Got a junction right here. Jeremy's standing. Yeah, it looks like. I don't know if I just, you guys been back that one or? I don't remember. I don't either. Two Swiss cheese. Yeah. Looks like a skip right there. There's a drift heading back that way. Lots of bits and pieces of stuff down here. You see the carbide. There's a drill bit on the right. This stoop not only goes down there, but Jeremy observed earlier, runs up quite a way too. Got some good graffiti. Along here, remains of a dynamite box. Good colors in here. It's like some Galena there. I'm not sure about the meaning of those numbers. Like H. C. Lopez. Ah, oh, there's an old car there. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can maybe get it back on the track. Good luck. <laughs> that frame's pretty heavy. Yeah, it is. So, was this an ore shoot here? Or yeah. ore pass, I mean? Yeah. Somebody must have dumped it down the ore pass. That's too bad. Oh yeah, because here's the, the old Mojave underground card. Yeah. No Jays. Another view of that ore car. There's Jeremy in the background for some scale. That's a good ore car. It's got all the wheels even, which you know how rare that is. Oh, even, wow. Even fairly greased up. Then the drift keeps running straight. 1930. It's a good one. Miners playing tic tac toe. More miners with feedy. And messy drifts carrying on. That is some large vent pipe right there. Pinches out right there. Y'all missed that. This is where we came from last time. Oh, you dropped down this? Yep. Boy, all right, so those guys dropped down this one last time. Let's see, 57. That's 50 something, 57 as well, I believe. More 57. And looks like a featureless drift for a while. 
So I'll turn the camera off and pick up farther down. We're at the end of that long straight stretch and something kind of cool here. You can see there's an ore car buried beneath this failed ore chute here. See that? That's just the edge of it. That's pretty cool. This way forward is completely blocked, so there's a side drift we're going to try. We just came from that direction. This is out that way, but not anymore since it's caved. And head down the side drift with all this minor graffiti here. I'm not sure what the 1851 is a reference to. This mine's not that old. It's old, but not that old. So, maybe that was the the year that particular miner was born or something. Okay, so up here is one of the ways we went down. Okay. Uh, we're going to check this level to because we just can't quite remember if we need to go down one more or if we need to find it on this level, that connection we're looking for. Gotcha. Find pipe. What's that? Find monkey pipe. Gotcha. That's what I'm Yeah, I can see you doing that. Yeah, it drops down away. There's a chamber over there. Like Austin said, we're just figuring out the best way down. We've been backtracking from that direction. I've shown you guys this before, but something I missed on the way in, which is pointed out to me, is you can see this little ledge here where a candle was. See the soot left behind from it, and then I'm assuming that's melted wax, but I'm not sure where that would have dripped down from. But that spot there is definitely for a candle. All right, we're back at that pipe, and we're rappelling down this section using Jeremy as a meat anchor. So. Once Graham is down at the bottom, i get on the rope myself and head on down there and pick up somewhere down there with you guys. We just worked our way down from there and we're the top of a pretty large chamber. Drops off down that way, probably it's 100 feet from what I can see. It extends up and around through there. I we were sure. There's a hole right there, with dynamite in it, and then I don't slip and stumble. So turn around. Chamber also extends over in that direction. Now, as you can tell, that's where we're dropping down. It's going to be a bit of slipping and sliding, so I'll put the camera away, and I'm going to pick up somewhere way down there with you guys, but this gives you an idea of what we're traveling down. That's we just dropped down from way up there. You can see a glow stick we left there, so we know where to go to get out. That's the bottom of that side of the big chamber. We're on a drift level now. Runs in that direction and in this direction, and we've opted to go this way first so oh wow look at that look at that mold on that it's almost like a plastic sheeting more stopes there it's a Havlin motor oil can and like i said we're we're headed in this direction Few people have been down this far, but not many. And like I said, our goal today is to get into an area 
that no explorers have been into. Oh, look at that goblin on the left there. That's way over my head. That's pretty high. Well constructed goblin. Okay, a junction here. Heads off that way. See the compressed airline. They went up and over to bypass this junction. You can tell just from the number of artifacts down here that not a lot of people get down here. Nice straight stretch here. This is out. 1935. Another junction here, of course. Runs off that direction. And in that direction. We're sticking with this one though for now. Like I said, the unexplored stuff is the main target today. And if by chance it doesn't work out, then I'll spend more time filling in the blanks on the stuff I'm walking past now. But huh. Hey, like I was saying, if the main target doesn't work out, I'll get some of this other stuff on the way out. There's another junction up there. I'll pick up over there. I'm shooting back there. You see some of the Myers graffiti. A little bit of a vein right there. And we're continuing that direction. Joe is here. There's 42. And then twisting our way through here. There's 50. All this out stuff. Tacoma, Washington, 1920. That's pretty cool. Um, anyway, as I was saying, all of this out graffiti is a reference to a shaft that is not accessible anymore. There's a lot of graffiti in here. carbide barrels another one of those bypasses for the compressed airline and then we're headed down this way there's a stoke chamber up here and probably an ore pass still making our way along here and something really cool here is you can actually see the prints from the mules over here, see, there's a distinctive print right there. And if you keep looking, oh, here's an better, even better one. You see the, the mule prints? And 
All right, guys, we're back there. They found a mule shoe as well. So, I mean, there's no question they were having mules pull loads through here. How cool is that? We've been coming from that direction and look, it's getting fairly interesting again. So, at least messy. So, turn the camera back on. You can see, remains an ore chute right there. There's a better look at that ore chute and stope above. So, there's stope above all through here. Lots of stuff to trip over. Oh, pretty good gobbing right here. Oh yeah, pretty heavily stoped. You see some compressed air lines up there. A rail tossed up there. Cool. I know I'm going to trip over some of this. I'm going to get through this and I'll pick up somewhere over there. All right, crawled under that. My buddy's backpack there. See the stopes continue through here. A bunch of carbide here. More stope running down through there. Cool carbide can right there. Remains of an old shovel and more stoping through here. Got a junction here. It's pretty cool. And another junction with an ore car. Always cool. Ore car with a wooden barrel next to it, even better. Yeah, that's actually really cool. Got some little drill bits inside. Fix my shirt. More stopes. Through there, we got drift running this way. A little backfill drift. Filled in stoping. More stoping. And more stoping. All right, let's go check that other side. This is extremely photogenic. A little pocket right here on my right. That's where we just were over there. Recognize this berm here. And more stopes. Keep going this way. Yeah, I remember trying to leave Cool. Huge vent pipe. There's this one piece of dynamite box that for some reason is like dry and in perfect shape. I'm surprised everything else here is wet and rotted. That's weird. But it has a date on it. Oh, that's cool. August 24th, 1940 something. Oh, that's cool. Huh. So, where is this run to? Uh, I don't think it went anywhere. I okay. exactly, but I think it probably goes in there a little bit. Okay. And then what about the stoping like to our right? Um, we chased that stuff down. Didn't go anywhere? You no, know, like, if you go down, you can work your way down, and there's another level down there. But, it, and like, it, 
it like just drifted off from uh, following this stuff. Okay. And there's the wind that you saw in there. Yeah. And we, we went to the bottom of that. Was it plugged or? Nah, it just ended. Oh, I okay. Think. I did it and it went down and then there was like a sump level below at the bottom of it. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a big rope. Whoa. That's why abandoned mines are dangerous. Because the floors just give way unexpectedly. They didn't do that to me. Oh, that's happened to me a couple times too. You weren't pissing this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> last time I. Well, that goes. <laughs> we should get roped up and drop that actually. <laughs> Even the four you think is safe. That kind of thing will wake you up. I'll see what. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we, let's drop that. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. We were just looking down there and past a drift here on the way in. So we're going to go examine that. Hopefully, I don't trip and fall over all this stuff but it goes so we need to go as well all right not fall on my face which is good huh somebody's been here Okay, I think that's a dead end. Let's see where this goes first. Looks like 1938, that's pretty cool. A little damp section here. You can really see that clearly. That's interesting. It just keeps going. I yanked the rails for a section here, probably because they were straight. And straight rails are pretty useful. Yeah, I picked the rail up again. I don't know what this is. Did we look at, so just right down there, dopey action. it like kind of drops down. Did we look at that at all? Or? I don't remember. It looks like another thing where it like drops. You get over it and then it drops again. That's a cool bottle. What's this way? Is this just end? Uh, the collapse. The gram is that way. Okay. It doesn't collapse back there, if you didn't hear that. This looks more interesting. This is pretty impressive, actually, right here. That goes way up there. Way, way up there. Uh, definitely drier here than it was in that other section. Some kind of classifier. Am I right? Nice little arch here. Or pass. Looks like an ore pass. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want to take a look really quick, I don't know. It's up to you. Since we was. Alright, Jeremy, of course, is going to descend on this one. See what's over there. Got the meat anchor system 
running again. And let's look where it's going. Bigger than it might look. You'll see when he's down there what I'm talking about. Sounds like you found it. <laughs> There's wet down there. That looks like it's ripped. Here's a look at Jeremy down there. Got stuff going off in three different directions, apparently. I'm assuming the one that goes that way ties in over there. We'll find Is he out. off of it? Find out shortly. Yeah, he's off. So Jeremy ran that out, and it's a stopey little sub-level. It's nothing really worth going down there for. We just looked down there. Um, while they're getting packed up and such, I figured I might as well go beyond this bottle, see what's back here. I'm going to trip over that, so I'm going to pick up over there. All right, just climbed through all that mess. There, fortunately, looking cleaner. Well, looking cleaner at least for this little section in front of me. Another stoop right here. Clear just runs up to there. A lot of undercut stuff here. I mean, that's that's the kind of thing we're walking on, and that. See how undercut that is? Basically walking on an eggshell of backfill dirt. So, not ideal. Some scraps of metal here. More stooping. Running down. All through here. And just more. Stupid. They took a lot of material out of this mine, didn't they? You can see the remains of an ore chute right there. It's probably going to be probably made some crude funnel for the ore chute out of that metal there. Got some cribbing right there. A battered old bucket. And let's see, that's probably more stopey on my right. This is probably all stuff that fell down from up there. Looks like there might be a little sub level up there. Very colorful in here, huh? Okay. Looks like. This is the end of the line. Yeah, that's it. I am not getting past that.